بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اتبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس وإن تعدوا نعمة الله لا تخسوها If you're trying to count the blessings of Allah, you will never be able to number them out. Ramadan is one of the manifestations of Allah's mercy and grace. Ramadan is a great month. So whenever Ramadan comes, we have to prepare for welcoming it Ramadan. How we do that? Number one, we have to make our intention to fast Ramadan as the last fasting, as our last fasting. Perhaps next year we are no we are not going to see Ramadan. So we have to make our intention that is our last Ramadan so that we will fast it sincerely and accordingly. Number two, we have to ask Allah forgiveness for the sins that we have committed knowingly or unknowingly. Number three, we have to forgive the people who did wrong to us and we have to ask the people also that we wronged to forgive us number four is that we have to plan how to make good use of ramadan how we can have maximum benefit of the fasting of Ramadan. Now let me shed a little light on the virtues of the month itself. The month of Ramadan is the month of Quran. In, that, in this month, the Quran was revealed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Shahru Ramadan al-Ladi unzila fihi al-Quran. And we have some athar that the Torah also was revealed in the month of Ramadan and Injil was revealed in the month of Ramadan. In this month, there is a night called Laylatul Qadr. It's better than thousands months. So Laylatul Qadr is very, very important. I will advise each one of us, every Muslim, to try his best to stand, to spend them all night in the odd numbers in the last 10 days of Ramadan. Among the virtues of this wonderful month is that the gates of hellfire are closed and the gates of Jannah are open. This indicates that the person who observe Ramadan accordingly should be his abode would be should be in a Jannah. That means the hellfire is not the abode of the person who observe fasting of Ramadan accordingly. Now fasting itself, the fasting asiyam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said all the deeds that the son of Adam does is for him except fasting is for me. I will reward for it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ascribed the fasting to himself. No any other deeds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ascribed to himself. This is very very important for us to understand is for me. The month, the fasting of Ramadan is prescribed to help us to achieve taqwa. Taqwa, 
conscious of God. And this is the, the quality that Allah loves the most. Because this taqwa gets you closer to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This taqwa will make you to become waliyya min awliya illah. Allah said, Ala inna awliya Allah la khafun alayhim wa lahum yahzanun alladheena amunu wa kanu yattaqoon. Indeed, all oh, pay attention. The awliya of Allah, the lovers of Allah, are those alladheena amunu wa kanu yattaqoon and have a taqwa. And so Ramadan fasting in this month help us to achieve this highest form of Iman, quality of taqwa. This word taqwa, my brothers and sisters in Islam, you find it mentioned in the Quran almost on every page on the Quran. Either the word is mentioned explicitly or implicitly. So this is very, very important. My brothers and sisters in Islam, fasting in Ramadan, my brothers and Islam, makes you and helps, helps you to get closer to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We learn fasting in this month many lessons. We learn a lot of lessons. Among them is patience. Patience. That's why Ramadan is called the Shahr al the month of patience. We learn a lot of patience because we suppress our desires for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Ramadan teach us patience to control our behavior when someone provokes you to behave foolishly. Say to him what? Allahumma inni sa'im. Oh Allah, I'm fasting. I indeed am fasting. Ramadan, and we learn in this month of Ramadan that and uh, the fasting and the month itself enhancing the relationship between rich and poor. Because this is the month that uh, uh, rich people gives a lot of money to um, needy. So Ramadan puts smile on the face of needy. Ramadan, brothers and sisters in Islam, make us to feel how homeless and needy feel daily. It makes us to feel that. So this is very, very important to my sisters in Islam and uh, this month of Ramadan. However, you cannot achieve any benefit from this month. You cannot have a taqwa by fasting Ramadan if you only abstain from eating, drinking, and having a physical intimacy from down to sand sand without abstaining from lying and acting upon lying and backbiting. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi told us, whoever can uh, abstain from lying and acting upon lying, Allah doesn't need from him to abstain from eating and drinking. My brothers and sisters in Islam, once again, we have to prepare ourselves to um, welcoming Ramadan and trying to arrange our time and plan our time how we will make a maximum benefit of the Quran of this Ramadan. This is the month of Quran. We have to read Quran a lot and we have to ponder in the meaning of the Quran. Brothers and sisters in Islam, you can divide your time in reading Quran in three ways. One, you read it without paying attention to the meaning. And one of them, you're trying to ponder in the meanings and what, what part of the your program in Quran to try to memorize some of them. Finally, 
don't forget, don't forget to feed some people who are fasting. Because Prophet Wasallam taught us throughout the year to pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it possible for us to feed those who are fasting. He told us that when somebody invites you for the food, for food, after finishing food, you said, what? أَكَلَ طَعَامُكُمُ الْأَبْرَاءُ وَأَفْطَرَ عِنْدَكُمُ الصَّائِمُونَ this is the dua. Means may Allah send righteous people to eat your food. May Allah send them and those who observe and fasting to bring their fast with you. So, and um, this is very, very important to do your best to feed some individuals in this matter from that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. This is your brother in Islam. Ali Suleiman Ali, Imam of MCWS and the Director of Muslim Family Services, Detroit. Ignore Relief. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.